Sometimes I go on Instagram and I just start to feel real bad about myself. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the algorithm oftentimes points me towards small little viral beauty clips, if you will, some of which are hair videos. And it really makes me think about the fact that I just never really do my hair. By the time I get to my hair, after I do my makeup, because I saved that for last, my arms are just tired and I'm just ready to be done. But in a perfect world, I would love to be one of those people that just like has their hair done, that just like has a braid that they took a little extra time to do and they just look nice. I'd like to just look nice sometimes. I've dabbled in braids. I feel like I know how to do some braids, like a basic French braid, but I'm not really that good. I find myself just going down this little rabbit hole of like, look how lovely that looks. See, Jenna, if you just took an extra 20 minutes out of your day, your hair could look like that, but it doesn't because you're lazy. The only way to get better at something, right, is time and practice and energy. Today is like the perfect day to braid my hair to. It's like dirtier than I'd like to admit. I have a couple of choices. I can do my own hair. I can rope someone into doing my hair, Julian. What? Third option is to just practice on hair that's not mine. I'm gonna put one of these wigs to use and I'm just gonna practice because once you get a feel of it on someone else's head, then you can do it on your head. I feel like that's how I learned. So I'm gonna practice a little on your head. I'm aware that a lot of these videos are not meant for you to be able to do them on your own head. It's very different to braid your own hair than to braid someone else's hair. But not everybody just has a willing person around that can braid their hair like that or wants to follow that tutorial. I want to see what you're capable of because honestly, I don't know. Can um, you braid? I, oh, I can braid. Can I get my tools? You know what would be spectacular is if you were just sitting on a gold mine of braiding ability and then you could just do my hair every day. Even if I had the gold mine of ability, honey, I wouldn't just do it for you every day. <laughs> Why? Because I would open up a shop. Oh, okay. So Julian, you picked out a hairstyle that you think would look nice on me? I think. It's by Roxasaurus. This is 15 braided heatless back to school hairstyles. Mm -hmm. And she's doing them on herself. Mm -hmm. So I feel confident that you can do this on me. So why don't you take a look? All right, let's watch it. So that's easy. You know how to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take it from the sides. She's doing like a I'm little- tie a knot in the middle. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a hair tie. Is that the same color as her hair? That's sneaky. It looks like a knot. You're missing the entire tutorial. Oh my God, well, how did she get so far? Oh my God. Where did that braid come from? Okay. Those, are, those aren't even French braids. They're nice, easy three strand braids. So you know how to braid three strand braids. So you go right over the middle, then left over the middle, then right over the middle, exactly. and then left over the middle. Exactly. Hold on, I'm not done. Then right over the middle, then left <laughs> over the middle, then right over the middle. Exactly. Right, and then left over the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you know how to finish strong with the right over the middle? <laughs> so I'm gonna take sides of your hair and go like that. Does it wait? Does it look good in the front though? Where'd you pull the hair from? Just the sides. Okay. Oh, like no, I'm not worried about how it looks in the front. Be gentle. I'm trying. <gasps> Ow, <gasps> Julian. Oh God. Like that. Okay, got him. So we got this hole here. Tuck it through. All right. Step one. Looking nice. Oh, can you pick that up for me? This feels weird. I know. Turn around. You know it doesn't feel weird. What? Looking snatched. Okay. Bam, dude! Oh, it feels terrible! <gasps> no. I was supposed to take this little part and mix it in with each braid, but we'll figure it out otherwise. What do you mean? What? It's okay. I'm honestly a little surprised because I feel like this, you're not <gasps> doing that Damn, bad. Damn! It looks so good! Okay, so that is pretty much what we're seeing on the monitor. And we're gonna go to this side and we're gonna do it over here. We're done! I did it! Oh, Julian, the front looks like fucking. Show, show, them, show them the front. <laughs> Julian, when you're doing someone's hair, what the front of it looks like matters. Not according to this YouTube video. <laughs> this looks like hell from the front. So I just. Action. I just looked at the back. I have to say, I'm impressed. You did better than I thought you were gonna do, just to give you some constructive feedback. Okay. It hurt the entire time. <laughs> okay. You didn't care about what the front looked like. It's pretty messy and not in like a cute way. Subjective, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's gonna fall out. I'm glad we explored this, but I don't think that you doing my hair is a viable option for me. Well, it depends where you're going. Like, I think it's a really nice try. Honestly, nice try is like, that's my city, so. We do like one of those really fancy- Oh, the beauty, yeah. A I'll, beauty I'll reveal. I'll the camera, you do the- So I'm gonna practice one on myself that I think I can do. The style that I think looks really 
pretty for my hair type is where they like fluff it out really thick. It's like sometimes a fishtail braid, sometimes it's like a Dutch braid or a French braid. Super big and fluffy and nice. That's the look that I'm going for. Oh, but every time I've ever done it, it looks terrible. So I'm just gonna try my best. Okay. So she has a fucking middle part. Here comes middle school. She takes two extensions, but I'm gonna see if I can do it without extensions. There's so much dry shampoo in my hair. See how much bigger her braid is than mine? Why? I'm braiding. Why does mine look like this? She does a normal fucking braid and then she pulls it apart to be that big. Easy, right? Should be easy. Why am I struggling? I've seen people comment like if I have braids, they're like, you should pull your braids apart so they're like bigger and fuller. Here's the trick. As if I didn't know it existed. I'm like, every time I do it, it looks fucking terrible. Hers is so much fuller though. How'd she get it like that? Okay, you know what? <laughs> I look like a Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, babe. What? It's pretty high. Look at me. Don't look at me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> See, but this is why, like, I want to practice because I'll see a video of someone that looks so cute with it and then I do it and I just, I look like I'm cosplaying as Jesus. Like it doesn't look good and she didn't clip it anywhere in the middle. Like if I do anything, it's gonna fall out. <laughs> this is why I just stay off Instagram. You look like a bike lock. Like I get it, okay, maybe my hair isn't curled, but like this is the gist of this look. Hello? What's going on back here? <laughs> Back up. <laughs> I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. <laughs> There's a time and a place for this and it looks cute on this girl, but if I just opened up my YouTube and just was like, hey guys, there's no way we can get past what's going on here. I would get roasted. Kids, don't do Instagram. This don't do Instagram. <laughs> we'll just do a French braid. Why does that look good? It's pretty tangled at the bottom. But um, all, every hairstyle tutorial is like, okay, do that and then just pull all this out. Like, hello? I think it looks tight. Okay, does it look tight or does it look good? <laughs> Cause like, they're all variations of this style. And then they're like, yeah, then you just like tie this up. Why does everyone's like, theirs looks good and mine looks like I got hit by a bus? You know, not like a bus, like, like a bicycle or something. It's not good or bad, it's just a look. This isn't my look? What? Like, it took me four seconds. Like, I know how to braid, but like, why can't I make it look good? Maybe I need to learn harder braids is the problem. Like, I'm just sick of watching videos where they pull the braid apart like this and it somehow looks better. I just look like I'm coming from another century the more I do it. Is my face the problem? <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. You actually look really cute. It's an Insta scam. Loose braids are the fit to your hair. <laughs> they look good in a picture, but like, I'm getting scammed. See, if you didn't have my face, right, and this was just a faceless person and you just saw this, you'd be like, oh, that's so pretty. Wow, I really like that. And then you... <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's all you see on Instagram is this. You see like a pretty tutorial and you're like, wow, that hair is so nice. Hello? I think the solution is maybe I try some braids that I've never tried before, so then I can try and do them on my own head someday. But Julian, I need you to put on that wig so that I can try. You got it. So a lot of the hair videos that I've watched, <laughs> what, what's so funny? Look at this together. This is called Tuto Coiffeur Tresses Servitete by Coiffeur Simples. Well done. I think that that looks really nice. That's a hairstyle that just screams, I'm a basketball. <laughs> and I think I can do it, so. So you're gonna make me into a basketball? Yeah. First thing you do is they make like a crown ponytail. Then she takes a little piece from the ponytail and French braids it to like the bottom, it looks like. Well, would you look at that? I can do it. Well, you're gonna look like a basketball, so. I'm ready to be bounced. This really isn't like looking right. I don't know what I did. So I'm, I think I'm doing a French braid, but this looks not like that at all. How so? Why does it look different? Cause it looks like shit. Oh. I can't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh my God. We'll just wrap it around cause we messed up. I think we started off strong and then we ended poorly, which is how all of my braids <laughs> go. I feel like you got a little over ambitious cause this is a wig. It turned into like a, a twist almost in the back. Poofs it out and tucks it into this one. You don't, you don't really look like a basket. Oh my God. It doesn't, it didn't, it doesn't, it doesn't look right. Everything that I braid just looks like it's from another century. Like. 
Nothing about this looks cute and fun or basketball-like. It looks like <laughs> pure dog shit. Like, a, oh God. Bounce me, mommy. It looks like shit. Like, even if I had a person with a real head of hair, it would... I'm a person. Between this braid and this braid, like, everything that I touch just turns so matronly and awful. All right, let's try another hairstyle. I feel like I can do this. It's called beautiful light hair weaving with other Russian words in front of it. And although it took me two weeks to learn the Cyrillic alphabet in high school, I cannot read that. I wish you would grow your hair out again so I could do all these hairstyles on you. Never gonna happen again. Really? Never, Never gonna grow your hair out again? Why not? I don't know why I ever thought that looked good. It did. No, it didn't. It looks nice. No, it always looked bad. Julian would get really hot and he'd be like, can you braid my hair? So I'd do like, you know, thick little braids backwards off his face. And then within an hour, it's already out. I'm like, well, then why did you ask me to braid it in the first place? It looks like she just takes it and goes over and under. It's deceptively easy looking because I think she's just really neat. And I think the trick is to like keep it really flat, which I'm not good at. Cause I, I, I like just do everything so harshly. I can do it. You can do it. Make me into a basket. So I think she just clips it. Okay, stay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. It looks good? Yeah, it looks kind of good. I feel like this is something, I, if I had a mirror in the back, I could maybe do this. This is a braid that I'm into. This is something I feel like you could do on a real actual human's head, not just a, a hair doll. So I think she did three, and then she took these out and just did a little braid down the side. Wow, look at that, that's beautiful. And I did it, it was like not that hard. It looks like hers, like I actually did it. Put some whipped cream on me because I'm an apple pie. Okay, I wanna try it on my hair and see if I can do it to myself. How's that look? It looks like nothing? Yeah. No, really? I don't know, I don't know what I'm looking at, it just looks like your hair. No. Turns out this is a hairstyle you can't do on yourself unless you had a mirror. <sighs> Back to the drawing board. We gotta keep practicing. You look so cute though, but that's so pretty and it was so easy. I know it looks scary, but I think she just starts off with a French braid, which I can handle, and then weaves in some hair bows, which I think would look really lovely on you. Plus, look how cool that is. Crown ponytail again. Whole thing goes into a French braid. We can do that, right, Julian? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I'm glad you're not a person, because this is rough. Feels like it would be painful. I can do it. What's it look like? Beautiful. I mean, mine looks a little lower than hers, but I think we should be okay. So now, she undoes the top part, takes little pieces, and puts them into the fucking thing like a bow. So she weaves it through in a circle, pull, Set it and forget it. Okay, there's no way you could do this with an actual human's hair. What? Oh my God. If you could see what I just did, the feat of engineering. Why would anyone do this? It looks so cool, but it's like so unbelievably difficult. This is literally not practical. This is why you see stuff like this on Instagram and on YouTube and you're like, that's pretty. Cause it doesn't exist. It doesn't belong on anybody's head. It's just as fake as the rest of fucking Instagram. I think if you had like outrageously long hair, this would work, but that's the only way. This is so not functional. This is certainly not a hairstyle you could ever possibly do yourself. I can barely even do it on another human being. And it's not even your hair. Don't even get me started on making them even. This is like one of the hardest things I've ever done. We'll stop there and we'll wrap this around your braid. Cause that's whimsical, right? I just do not have the skill. Look at your hair bows. Oh my God, what? How did you do that? That's it was a, so like, hard. Actually impressive. It was Hello? so hard. I can't even imagine what it's like doing it on someone's actual head. I think it's actually really impressive what you did. Yeah, this is cool. But shit like that looks good on Daenerys, hello? Oh, they have professionals over there. Well, that's because it's a wig. But still, a professional made that wig. You're telling me I'm never gonna be a wig braider no, for saying, Daenerys? No, yes. Actually, <gasps> no! that's exactly.
All right, I'm gonna try one more hairstyle on me to see if I can do it because it seems really easy. It's called a pull-through braid. They always look like big and full and I think it might give me that look that I'm going for without being too difficult. First of all, you use way too many hair ties to do it, but you just do little ponytails and flip them inside of each other. That's This is my last ditch attempt because I feel like this is the only thing that's gonna save me. You're gonna pull through, I believe in you. Get out! Go like that. What? Like that. But like, this takes so much more effort and so many more hair ties than if you just fucking braided it. And it looks the same, doesn't it? It does, actually. So what the hell is the point? And all these people like fluff it up so fluffy and it looks so big and full, but like, th those are their extensions. I just used like seven hair ties and you can see them, but like that looks like shit. It's just like a big, heavy rope. Does that look good? It looks good and then you look closer and you're like, oh. I just don't understand how this is comfortable. It's not, it doesn't seem functional. I will say this is the fastest, easiest braid. Unless you know how to braid, in which case just a braid is the easiest braid. Why doesn't that look good like everyone else's? It feels awful. Like it feels like heavy. It looks like it's just in your way. It is in my way. Clearly I'm not like incompetent at braiding because I just did tiny bows in your hair. But like, why can't I make a normal braid look decent? That's not a normal braid. It is though, on the internet, Julian. This is a normal, pretty, thick Instagram braid. I feel ridiculous. I think this looks good on someone. It's just not me. I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna do something different with my hair today. So I'll start doing some of this. And you know, I spent enough time on it where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make it work. No matter what, we're gonna make it work. And then I'll get to here and then I'll be like, I hate it. And now my arms are tired, my shoulders are tired. So I'm like, okay, well, what if I pin it up? Hate it even more. Then you pin it up and you mess it up and you gotta take it out and then you just decide you're gonna wear a ponytail. But the moral of the story is that this just does not look good on me. <laughs> Nor did that beautiful little side swept braid. I'm gonna keep trying, okay? In the future, when you see me sometime, I'm gonna have really cute, big braids and you're gonna be like, she's been practicing. Stop laughing in my hair! What about this is funny to you? <laughs> is it because I talked it by my ear? It was hanging from my ears, I couldn't hear anything. It's like wearing headphones. Well, if there's one thing we learned here today is that sometimes you just can't will yourself into having good hair, can you? No, you can't. No, you can't. But you can try and spend an evening on it and a day on it. I literally spent all day doing this. <laughs> Which I shouldn't well, I don't know if you noticed, but it is now dark. <laughs> you had to change the lighting. Stop roasting me. Sometimes I question if I just show up in a video looking like this, are y'all gonna think I'm okay? Like I'm just gonna get all those comments that are like, is Jenna okay? They're just concerned. I'm that's just all. I'm just trying a new hairstyle. Get some style. I know you're all very jealous of this. I'm proud of that, even though it doesn't look good. It's pretty, it's like a lobster. Here's your lobster. Would you like some butter on the side? It's not a lobster! Anyways, stay tuned in the future as I try experimental braids. If I just show up in a video and I have an experimental braid, please be kind about it because I'm just trying to make braids look good on me. I either look like I'm like nine or a hundred. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday slash Thursday. Um, can I wear this? Because I feel like I can make this work. What, is this better? What is this piece of paper? <laughs> Look at all my hard work. Maybe if I just keep pulling them out, it'll fix itself. No, stop. I think if I keep stop. keep pulling them apart. You need to put an end to this. That's what people on the internet say. No, you need to end Just it keep right pulling now. them apart and no. they'll get bigger and fuller and look better. Can I just do you a favor real quick? What? <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs>